we created societies that were bigger and bigger. We got closer and closer together physically, but I think uh, farther apart in terms of relationships and uh, community. You know, we create more stuff, but uh, we feel like we have less and less. We have the capabilities to to kind of control everything in our environment, but apparently the trade game controls us. We produce a lot of shit, but uh, you might think, oh, that's so extraordinary because you have so, so much capacity of producing a lot of shit, so much diversity. Uh, the truth is that this diversity is about the wrapping, the package, not really about the product itself. itself you know, Yes, human beings made some improvements. You know, cameras can capture better footage, uh, cars are safer and so forth, but these are slow improvements. Uh, the rest that you see in our world, the rest of the products that get released are just cars with a different paint. That's what it is. Apple just released the iPhone 13 and in this video we're going to compare it to the 12 and cover every single difference. The first thing I got to comment on are these lenses. You guys can see that it's now horizontal instead of being vertical, but look how much bigger they are. And if we look at it from the side, the camera bump sticks out much more so. Is look at this color. This is the starlight, but the back is super clean. It looks white. They are pretty much the same. The shape is the same, the screen size is the same, but Apple has made another change and they moved all the buttons lower we could see that the biggest difference is the notch. For the first time since the notch came out, Apple has changed it. Uh, it is now a little bit less wide. Apple says it's 20% smaller, but it is actually slightly taller. The camera has been repositioned. Other than that, they are exactly the same. We have the same contrast, the same brightness when you're watching HDR videos, viewing angles, color accuracy, everything else is identical. Uh, it is absolutely worth the extra hundred dollars to buy the iPhone 13. There's no way I would buy the 12. Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm comparing four toasters. All right, so looking at the front of the toaster, it's a very attractive looking toaster here. And it's all just a touch screen. There's no other controls. It defaults to bread, fresh, and number four, but you can select the different shades and it shows you about what the toast is supposed to look like. There's even a little gear here for some, uh, some other functions. I'm gonna put it all the way down on number one, which is supposed to look like this. Be impressed. Oh, it does lower it by itself. I like that feature. Ooh, it played a nice little chime and raised it very slowly by itself. I guess it's kind of in the, in the ballpark there of what number one's supposed to look like. These are all the slices that were faced to the outside of the toaster. So see how consistent those are, or inconsistent. This isn't real consistent. This one has lines when this one doesn't. But let me flip these all over and you can see how the... So it's the same shit in different bags. That's what it is, you know. Hundreds of types of chocolate, kind of the same thing. Probably thousands of types of beverages, of sugary beverages, just like water, bubbly water with sugar. But hey, we put different names on it and put a bit different colors. They kind of taste the same. Kind of almost identical taste. Yeah, so uh, human beings think that they have options, you know, between uh, chocolates and between cars. In fact, there are very little options. They just, they are just mesmerized by the marketing that's happening around these products to sell them. We're going to be testing every single water that was at the grocery store. We bought every single brand. It came out to like 60 some dollars. Natural artisan water. Oh, from the islands of Fiji. Wow. So what's so an island? Is yeah, right. from Fiji. All right, untouched by man until you flip open the cap. Well then. From the US Open for over 30 years. I don't like it. From the French Alps. Yeah, I don't think I like this one. It has a I, weird taste to it. I think the regular one tasted better. It didn't taste like anything. Yeah, it was There's all no right. Distinctive taste, so. This one's just called Vita Nourish Water. It has vitamin C, B3, B1, B5, B6. Wow, it has so many vitamins in it. Like it's just water, but like they wanna be fancy and have other stuff in it. So it has electrolytes and it has a pH of nine. Why not? She's a consumer researcher and former advertising exec who helped launch bottled water into Canada in the 80s. Now that you've done that, what do you think of it? I think if we knew then what we know now, we wouldn't have been as excited to work on the product. Now, what does that mean? Well, now that we're in a different, we're in a different climate. I don't think bottled water today would be launched. 
I can't imagine the meeting there would be like. What if we put tap water in bottles? 